We all want to be important, to surpass others, to achieve distinction, to lead the parade. Alfred Adler, the great psychoanalyst, contends that this quest for recognition, this desire for attention, this desire for distinction is the basic impulse, the basic drive of human, human life, this drum major instinct. Our first cry as a baby was a bid for attention. And all through childhood, the drum major impulse or instinct is a major obsession. Now, in adult life, we still have it, and we really never get by it. We like to do something good, and you know, we like to be praised for it. And somehow this warm glow we feel when we are praised or when our name is in print is something of the vitamin A to our ego. Nobody is unhappy when they are praised, even if they know they don't deserve it, and even if they don't believe it. Now, the presence of the drum major instinct is why uh, so many people are joiners. You know, there are some people who just join everything, and it's really a quest for attention and recognition and importance. It often causes us to live above our means. It's nothing but the drum major instinct. You ever see people buy cars that uh, they can't even begin to buy in terms of their income? And you know, you see people over and over again with the drum major instinct taking them over and they, they just live their lives trying to outdo the Jones. There comes a time that the drum major instinct can become destructive. If it isn't harnessed, you will end up day in and day out trying to deal with your ego problem by boasting. It causes you to lie about who you know sometimes. It is the fact that when one fails to harness this instinct, he ends up trying to push others down in order to push himself up. Whenever you do that, you engage in some of the most vicious activities. You will spread evil, vicious, lying gossip on people because you are trying to pull them down in order to push yourself up. And I would submit to you this morning that what is wrong in the world today is that the nations of the world are engaged in a bitter, colossal contest for supremacy. And if something doesn't happen to stop this trend, I'm sorely afraid and we won't be here to talk about Jesus Christ and about God and about brotherhood too many more years. If somebody doesn't bring an end to this suicidal thrust that we see in the world today, none of us are going to be around because somebody is going to make the mistake through our senseless blunderings of dropping a nuclear bomb somewhere and then another one is going to drop and don't let anybody fool you. You want to be first? You want to be great? You want to be important? want to be significant? Well, you ought to be. It's a good instinct if you don't distort it and pervert it. Don't give it up. Keep feeling the need for being important. Keep feeling the need for being first. But I want you to be first in love. I want you to be first in moral excellence. I want you to be first in generosity. That is what I want you to do. 
If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. This morning, the thing that I like about it, by giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. Soul generated by love. We all think about it, and every now and then I think about my own death, and I think about my own funeral, and I don't think of it in a morbid sense. Every now and then I ask myself, what is it that I would want to say? I'd like somebody to mention that day that Martin Luther King Jr. was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. I was a drum major for righteousness. And all of the other shallow things will not matter. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. And that's all I want to say. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word of song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. I want to be on your right on your left side, not in terms of some political kingdom or ambition, but I just want to be there in love and in justice and in truth and in commitment to others so that we can make of this old world a new world. On January 17th, from 3 to 6 p.m., Brockton Community Access is hosting a day of service to commemorate Dr. Martin Luther King. BCA is partnering with the NAACP of Brockton, the Cape Verdean Association of Brockton, and the BHS alumni to support Father Bills to serve Brockton's homeless community. Join us to serve and prepare care packages from items you and your neighbors donate. With your help, we can reach our goal of preparing 100 care packages. Items such as blankets, gloves, backpacks, socks, and wipes can be dropped off at BCA now until January 17th at 1 North Main Street. Check donations can be mailed as well to Brockton's NAACP at P.O. Box 1535. MLK Day is a national day of service, encouraging all Americans to volunteer to improve their community. As MLK once said, everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. For more information, go to www bcatv.org. Thank you.